What's up mga kap? And today's video, we will learn more about Continuing Care Assistant or CCA. So before we start, I would like to say thank you very much for supporting when in Halifax. And I hope guys to like this video, share this to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, let's begin our discussion. What is a Continuing Care Assistant? Maybe you watched my previous episode. I discussed about the salary of continuing care assistant, registered nurse, and licensed practical nurse. And maybe you are um, encouraged, you are motivated to be a continuing care assistant. So on this video, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show uh, we I'm going to show you and discuss to you what is the job description of the CCA, the salary, and if you are planning to, to study here in Canada, maybe you're thinking to enroll in one of the community college here in Nova Scotia. That's our discussion for today. So let's begin. So what is a continuing care assistant? The continuing, the continuing care assistant is like a nursing aide in a typical nursing home or a typical hospital in your country. So, the continuing, the continuing care assistant, to easily understand, their job is more on bedside care. So, what is a bedside care? Bedside care means it's more on care, hands-on care to a patient. So, they do the bath, they, uh, they dress the patient, they, they dress the resident, uh, they make sure it's safe, they feed the resident. So those are the ma majority, the task of a CCA. So here in Nova Scotia, the CCA is, uh, has a cert, you need to be a certified, you need to have a certificate to be a CCA. So to be a CCA, you need to enroll in one of the school here in Nova Scotia, which is the most famous or well-known school here in Nova Scotia is the Nova Scotia Community College. So if you want to study here in Canada, um, or sorry, you want to study here in Nova Scotia as continuing care assistant, visit the official website of Nova Scotia Community College. So the continuing care assistant based on their website, uh, the starting date is September and their pay, uh, the, the tuition fee for domestic. When you say domestic, these are the students that are citizen or permanent resident here in Nova Scotia. When you say international, it is the students that are outside Canada. So if you are a Filipino or you are planning to study outside Canada, you are considered as international. You can see that there's a big difference on amount. The domestic or let's say local, uh, the tuition fee for CCA is 3,515, while the, the international students is around 11,350. So these are the admission requirements for the international student you need to be a high school diploma and there you should have a language test. You should have also a criminal record check if you don't have a high school equivalent at least 21 years old and have been out of high school for a year or more, you may qualify a mature applicant. So I don't know this one is applicable for international student. So these are the information. I'll post a link on this video. You can check and explore this more um, on their website. So let's discuss it more. So you already know what are the, the job responsibility of a CCA in a nursing home uh, to easily remember, to easily understand their job description is bedside care. So take care take care, taking a bath, changing, feeding, those are the majority or the common job description of a CCA. So if you're thinking about studying here in Canada or especially here in Nova Scotia, the well-known school for continuing care assistant and the cheapest 
is the NSCC, which is it's a government funded, the continuing care assistance for um, uh, for international students is around 11,000 uh, 11, Canadian dollars. So let's say, for example, you are a registered nurse. So this is the common question. Sir, if I am a registered nurse from my own country or from the Philippines, um, can I work as a CCA? My answer is yes, with restrictions. Why these are restrictions? Because um, every company, they can hire an international educated nurses from different country. They can apply for continuing care assistance, but most of them are asking for the NNAS. They're asking for the NNAS if you are currently evaluating or currently processing your registration here as a nurse or as an LPN. So you need to show them, you need to show them a receipt or a printed document that you are currently processing your registration. So I don't know right now because when I came here 2016, that's the requirements they asked me. They didn't ask me for certification. They never asked me if I have experience as a continuing care. The only question they asked me if I'm currently I, if I'm currently processing my NNAS application and if I'm willing to do the CCA. So I don't know for 2019, that was 2016. I don't know if you know, if you have idea, please share it. Share, comment it below guys uh, because sharing is caring. So that that is, that, that is all about the CCA and I hope I'm able to explain it to you and I hope you already have the idea um, what is a continuing care assistant? Again, if you want to know the salary of a registered nurse, LPN, continuing care assistant, I highly encourage you to watch my previous video. Click the link on the description below. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this to your friends, especially for your nursing friend. Thank you guys and bye-bye.